Hey, hello, uh, welcome, I'm, uh, this is a new series that, uh, I'm gonna try out. Um, it's a, I'm gonna play a mod for, uh, Legend of Grimrock, well, it's like custom dungeon, uh, so it's basically, you know, if someone made, you can, there's a dungeon editor, you make it, I mean, it essentially just makes a whole new game. Um, but this is a, a shorter one, I'm gonna read the description for you, uh, I played, I played the first, uh, like, 30 minutes or so, or maybe 10 minutes of it, and I got stuck. <laughs> so, but it, it seemed pretty good, so I wanna, uh, I'll just record it, uh, since I'm gonna be playing it anyway. Okay, so, uh, blah blah blah, go into the mine, figure out its secret. Gameplay information. This mod is complete and was extensively tested. Of course, I can't promise it is 100% bug free, but it should be close. Apart from some minor known issues below. There are five levels to explore and the average play time should be somewhere between three and four hours. The overall combat difficulty of this mod is quite high and the good old hit and strafe tactic will often not work. If you thought the original game was challenging, you may want to play this on easy difficulty on your first playthrough. I don't recommend playing on hard difficulty on your first playthrough at all. Some important things to keep in mind while playing. 1. Secret areas are important. If you miss too many and play on normal or hard difficulty, it will be very hard to survive. 2. Food is not overabundant like in the original game. Don't eat when you don't have to, e.g. eating a large food item to bring a character from 75% to 100% food level is not a good idea. And don't sleep when you don't have to. If one character is seriously hurt, it may be a good idea to simply use a health potion instead. 3. You will often get ambushed, so don't walk into an unexplored area without preparation. Make sure your characters are on almost full health and energy. Get healing potions and bombs ready for use. Running away is an option. 4. Last but not least, save option. Save often. I try to place healing crystals in places where they make sense and help, but you can't but you can't have a healing crystal everywhere. Uh, then there's some minor known issues. So this is this mod is called uh, the Mine of Malin Bale, uh, and it's and it's done. The creator's name is Pitty, P H I T T T E. So uh, let's go ahead. Um, fortunately, it doesn't. I was uh, I played the beginning because once you can import your uh, your already your um, like already created characters into uh into uh like the custom dungeon but uh some of the mods are built around that some aren't uh i believe that this one was not because like my mage was able to you know like totally kill stuff but uh we can um do the we can use lizard men and insectoids which weren't in our uh, regular playthrough so, I think what I want, I think I want two rogues in this party, instead of two fighters. So let's look at lizard men. Lizard men are social outcasts and generally mistrusted due to their precious and deceitful nature. They are superb in tasks requiring stealth and dexterity. Okay, well that sounds like a good choice for a rogue. So we have ten... What picture do we like to our road? I like this guy, he looks mean. Um, we have 10 points. So if we put like 18 in dexterity. Willpower shouldn't really matter that much. Uh, vitality. Well, I want this guy to be a frontline guy. Oh, so maybe four vitality and ten strength. We're gonna have problems with uh, carrying power. So this is. This is a. Uh, this, this this I think is all right. We, oh, we can uh, come up with a a name here. How about Gamtuck? That that sounds good. 
assassination, um, daggers. I don't, yeah, you do, there is a dagger there right away, so we can do this. Well, level two, you get five evasion for dodge. So we're going to have to do daggers, assassination, and uh, and dodge. So it's going to be tough. I'll just put one point in dagger, I guess. Although, I don't know, maybe a point in... One point in assassination doesn't give you anything. One point in dodge does, though. Then we can get some traits. Is there any traits uh, specific to the lizard men? We can get plus three skill points. All right, let's go through here. Well, agile, we should do that. Dexterity, sure. Starting with twenty dexterity might be a bit overkill. Maybe we could go like, nah, I don't know, dude. Let's just fucking let's do it. Maybe we'll suck and we won't be able to beat anything. Give plus seven evasion. Four of, of attack power doesn't sound like it. something like strength. Isn't bad. Vitality. If we gave him vitality, that would give an extra, be an extra two points of vitality from the very beginning, so they would have more health. Like, I want this guy to be in the front row. So skill is three plus three skill points. Dude, I kind of want to go with the vitality trait. Where is that? Healthy. So that gives us 16 vitality. 20, 20 dexterity. Let's put two points into strength. Just so we have someone to carry stuff. And she, she'll do a little bit more damage. Or hit, he will. You get to pick their, their sex. Their gender? I don't know, apparently not. Okay. Oh, you just picked the picture. Um, human, I want would want to be the mage. Um, I don't know, like, if you can arrange them. Or you, if you have to just, uh... If you have to just like, um, sorry, um, or if you have to just decide from like the, the character screen here. Okay, so insectoid, that's someone that I want to have. Minus two strength, plus one dexterity, minus two vitality, plus four willpower. Minus 15% food consumption. I mean, that sounds like that could be a mage. Um, I would have liked the human because he has one more, uh, Skill point. Let's, what does it say about insectoids? Insectoids mostly keep to themselves and rarely wander into the lands of humankind. It's believed that their knowledge of the arcane is unrivaled. Okay, well, yeah, sure. I don't know, I like this guy. The eyes here. So, uh... Max out willpower. Oh, you can only 20 is the highest you can go. And dexterity isn't gonna matter. So, if we wanted to like min max this, I don't know, we could put it. 12 more. I mean, 39 kilograms, that's not. I'm worried about carrying weight. 
Let's just, uh, let's have him like that. That's a... Uh... Oh, I want to be a mage. Is that going to change anything? No. And let's look at traits here. One of these is, uh, insectoid. Natural armor. Fire protection. Um... I don't really know if we need that. I definitely want three skill points. That's super important for a mage. Whoops, I didn't mean to pick that. Uh, willpower plus two. You can do that. This dude has a lot of willpower. Is six points to start with. Well, we definitely want to start with fire magic at level two. And then ice magic is something that I didn't do in the main game. I mean, it's only like three hours. Maybe I should just stick to ice magic and spellcraft. Alright, so a name for this guy. Oh, I like that first one, but I messed up. It just sounds like a good insect, insect name. Zarkon Talk. Sounds, sounds like a thing. Yeah. Okay, so other thing. I want, a, I want a fighter. I mean, I guess I might as well have a minotaur. That guy looks mean. So we could start at 20 vitality and 20 strength. I don't know what skill I want to go with. So maybe we'll just start off with athletics. They only have one skill point anyway. I mean, I kind of want to do the the headhunter, the minotaur. What else do we got here? I don't know why you would take put a flat break over like how much Two willpower only gets five at the beginning, but uh, it would definitely overcome fifteen energy. I think by the by the end of the game. I think what's going to be important is uh. I don't know, I kind of want the willpower. He's going to be low on willpower. But vit vitality plus two, anything that gives you vitality from a low level just kind of like spirals. Maybe we'll give him a point in armor first. That might help. That might actually do something. Figging. There, you can be figging the Minotaur. That doesn't really sound like a Minotaur, but... Alright, so now we're going to have another rogue. Uh, maybe a human? It could be Insectoid too, but I think maybe a human. Let's, uh, let's have a girl rogue. She's hideous, but let's, uh... I think skill points is important for rogues.
I don't know, let's just do uh, Agile. So, Rogue will max out our Dexterity. I guess that maxes out at 18. We don't really need willpower, I don't think. Twelve, eighteen, twelve. That seems okay. And then, so we want to either do. Man, I wonder if I can just like keep the skill points. Cause we either want to do missile weapons or throwing weapons. Um, I think I want to go with missile weapons. Put seven points in that to start with. Let's put some points in assassination too, I guess. Oh, it's not. It's not enough. These aren't drills names. Sabdo. Drills name. Uh, I don't know. That's all right. All right, we got everything uh, so here. This took a lot longer than I anticipated. I've never tried to create a character in the game before. So some people have really low. I mean, the majority of my party has like pretty low. Pretty low energy. So let's watch this cinematic and eat something quickly. I guess I could read it. Deep in the towering mountains of Malin Vale lies a small mining lies a small mining village. One dark day weeks ago, I don't know something, but miners come back. I didn't read fast enough, my bad. Distraught and horrified by the unexplained disappearance of their family and friend. The remaining people of the village charge a brave man, Malik. I, I can't read this fast enough. You're just going to have to read it. I can kind of summarize it once you're done. So basically, like, all the people in the town, it's like a mining town. It's like a mining town, and uh, they all disappeared from the mine or something one day. And then they, uh, there was an adventurer in the town that they, uh, the town was like, oh, dude, go find out what happened. And then so the adventurer never came back. And then his wife is like, I know he's alive, so I'm going to hire a party of adventurers to you know, go find him. The door is supposed to be sealed to the mine, so how you just got into mine doesn't really make sense. I just thought of that right now. So the pot might not be bulletproof. Yeah, we got our uh, mage here. What's ice, this? This ice. They have some sort of ice spell doing that. What's this? Alright, well I don't know how to cast the ice spells, so... That'll be a uh, difficult section. So you can see, this is a, a custom tile set, apparently created for the mod. Uh, let me save my game. So it, we're, it's like a mine uh, theme, you know, we're in a mine. So it's kind of cool with, the, you know, how the engine works. 
Oh, you can. Oh, duh. Yeah, you can totally move your party around. I forgot that you can do that. Okay, so this beginning part, you just like uh, basically just mining stuff. You get equipped pretty early, just with the you know the basic stuff. This was much easier <laughs> to break when I had a uh, high level party. How about this pickaxe? Oh, I missed this the first time. Skill axes. We didn't give this guy a weapon skill. We never did axes in the uh, original playthrough either. So that may or may not be done, and I may or may not have won it. Who knows? So we could uh, we could do axes with this guy. I don't know. I hear some noises off in the background. So the pickaxe, is that new? I don't recall seeing that in the original game. Not, you know, the original game that I may or may not have finished, I'm not sure. So there's our food, and like the mod said, the food is supposed to be uh, precious. I don't know what spells I can cast. So I'm gonna play as the game intended. I'm just uh. I should be strafing here. And uh, if I don't know the spell, I'm gonna scroll, I'm just not gonna cast it. Alright, so we dispose of those two snails. Yeah, my high level character uh, definitely got to that pretty easily. Is he here anywhere? Turn up the sound a little bit. So, peasant, pe the peasant's tunic. Peasant's cat. We'll give the, the minotaur doesn't have good evasion, so a skull of fire burst, but I don't have that. Four points in ice magic. To spell it level three. I mean, ice has to be this one. Out of energy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this didn't have a torch in it, so now it does. Uh, may or may not be a secret. The mod said secrets are important. Storing work, three damage. That's a scary noise. So we're super scary. The torch here. A knife that'll be for our rogue. For our rogue in the front row. Forgot that it's a rogue, not a not a fighter. So we got the barracks over here. Pretty much explored all this. I don't know what the secret uh, buttons look like on these uh, tiles. I haven't found one in my limited play. Found out, found out this hole is normal. Yeah, blowing cloth. What does that do exactly? Minus one. Will power plus one attack power, that's fine. I'm gonna quick save, that's gonna overwrite my save game from the campaign. Uh, hopefully, that's not that big of a deal. So, we start off with some alchemy ingredients. Got a 
full outfit of uh, cloth. That mentor must have came in the dungeon naked. Apparently, everyone's naked. They don't have uh, clothes. Apparently, I don't know what would make uh, their cloth in particular that you just looted uh, any different than something that you were wearing. Oh, compass. You don't need the compass, though. You're not playing in uh, old school mode. I already missed a bunch of items from uh, when I was going through this at the beginning. I never got like the compass. I never got the pickaxe. Pick oh, shit. Having this mage not being able to do anything really kind of sucks. Not used to the rogue not being able to attack. I'm uh I'm pinned up against here. Move, thank God. Hmm. All right, that was tough. You got some cross arrows. Save. Probably gonna die because that rogue is low on health. I hear some uh, some skeletons. So we have a bomb. Let me give this to the rogue. Uh, cloak. Let's give this to the mentor. Cave metal. Another pickaxe. Yeah, I think the rogue might do a bunch more damage with the gag than actually. Energy potion. The notes. Skeletons? Is a necromancer at work here? What have I gotten myself into? Gladly these things are almost blind. Malik. Of Dota 2 fame. So, I still haven't found any secrets. I guess I haven't been totally checking. Just F5 right there. Hey, you don't fight these guys until a little bit into the normal game. Here's a nice 2 by 2 area. It's going to be important when we kill this guy because then we'll have a weapon for our rogue in the back row. Zero damage. Alright. And we'll have a shield uh, for the Minotaur, I guess. I guess we can use axes. Spear for our rogue back here. No one's got a torch now. Did I get a healing potion? Yeah, I did. I don't want to use it yet, though. Oh, there's another archer. Where did he come from? How oh, is that noise? 
Yeah, so my new microphone and my new hard drive is gonna be here tomorrow. I was looking at video cards too. Uh, I was uh, kind of wanting to get a 770, but uh, there's no games out right now that push my that that would push the video card. Like, cause most of the PC games are that are cross-platform are still like the PS3 versions. They're not the next-gen versions. Um, I mean, there's Battlefield 4, but I don't... I don't know. I like I like the idea of Battlefield, but I never actually end up playing the game. Uh, I mean, I own it, and I have all the DLC and all that shit, but like, I never play it. There's the same thing with 3. At least when, when 3 came out, I was balling though, so it didn't matter that I bought it. Uh, it, that's what I built this computer for, actually. Well, I had my little brother build it, but, uh, it was for Battlefield 3. And there's no that type of game. I mean, there's Battlefield 4, but I'm not going to upgrade my system for a game that I... There's Rome Total War 2, but the game's fucking shitty. They, <laughs> they fucked it up in whatever recent patch. So, uh... No, I I would actually... I mean, Rome Total War, I would love to see it in, uh, in all its glory. I mean, the graphics are one thing that's absolutely fine with the game. Except, they, dude, they messed it up so bad that I uninstalled it. To make more space for fucking these videos and shit. It really sucks having one of your party be like dead weight essentially. That's uh, the mage, because I don't know the spell. I'm not gonna look it up either. Not gonna do it. Some mods like change the spells and shit, so that's kind of cool. But I don't think this one does. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, as it was. Uh... All right, we'll give uh, Rogue some some shield love too. I could give uh, a a spear to a guy in the back row, but. Uh... You won't be able to use it either. Or we won't. We won't have light. I mean, uh, ouch! Come on, Rogue, you're not supposed to miss. I wonder how much of the game, or how much of that gets done automatically. Like, uh, the ambient noises and things like that. Or if the modder has to make that himself. Not make the noise himself, but like, you know, be like, I want this noise to play in this direction. Dude, I'm not looking forward to fighting some of the harder enemies. I hope I didn't gimp my party too bad making them. I, you know, it was the first time I ever made a party. I don't know what the original party's uh, default party. I don't know what their starting stats are. Actually, if I could get a bow and arrow, that would be great. I mean, I only have two arrows, but a doublet that could go to the rogue. No, not to this road. This road. Does this road do more damage? Yeah, she does. That this thing is a better weapon at this point. So let's actually let's actually use it. I get one less accuracy with one more damage. Wait, 
torch here. Any secrets? Secrets, secrets, secrets. What's this? No. I'm scared that they're gonna be like fiendishly hard to find. Okay, and this is the puzzle that I got stuck on to begin with. So we can end the episode here. The timing works out pretty well. I'll read this note. What's that now? A necromancer with a sure sense of humor? Who has set up a riddle in a mine? A lot of questions and no answers so far. All right, Malik. Okay, so come on back next time. We'll play some more of uh, the Mines of uh, Malin Vale. Take care.